Hello darlings, Mike Von Beningham here, and today we are doing a vocal analysis of Roy Kahn. For those of you who may not be familiar with Mr. Roy Kahn, he was the singer for Camelot for the duration of their musical career. Um, sadly, he left a few years back, um, but that's what his main bulk of work was. Now, he's an extraordinarily talented singer. His vocal delivery, I would say, is very alike a kind of um, sort of a musical storytelling, operatic style. There's so much depth and layers to his voice, and when you hear him do his real soft, um, sort of expressionate voice, it just completely draws you in. It's absolutely fantastic. So I've been a fan of Camelot for a fair few years. I've seen them several times. Um, and quite funnily, actually, when Roy left the band, they got another singer in. And the other singer did a fantastic job, and it was very cleverly done, of mimic Roy, mimicking Roy Kahn's voice, but then slowly introducing his own voice throughout the album, so it wasn't such a stark transition. So what we're going to be touching on today is some of the sort of character traits in his voice, what gives his voice that special Roy Kahn touch. So uh, we are going to do the song Abandoned. This is one of my absolute favourites. Now, as usual, I've got an absolute ton of songs I could have chosen, but this one, I think, has the most depth and soulful performance that I've heard on the Camelot albums. It's, there's just something to it. It's just got such gravitas, and you will hear what I mean. It, it's so well delivered, and the accuracy in how he delivers his notes, the different sort of the um, musical operatic type swells and drawing back. It's, it really is a work of art, this performance. So um, let's get cracking. Saying all that, I hope I can do this some form of justice. Here we go. I'm going to let it play for a little while first, just so you can get a taster of how he sounds. It's a really beautiful song as well. And he's got a good moustache. If you've never heard Camelot, check out the album The Black Halo. Absolutely fantastic. Here we go. Once my life was plain and clear I recall once my ignorance was bliss Okay, so straight off the bat, as you can hear, the delivery is very controlled, really expressionate, and again, straight into storytelling mode. It's... It draws you in and captivates you immediately. And especially sort of as you're reading the lyrics as well to go, you really feel that you're becoming part of this story. So let's nip back and we're going to start looking at the different techniques we've got in here. I recall right, where are we? Once my life was plain and clear. Okay, so... The voice is very clean, and one of my favourite things about the way Roy Kahn sings is when he goes up into that note like clear, he says, clear. What he does, he takes a, a normal kind of, I suppose, gentle chest voice, but then takes it up into more of the nose and the upper palate and more into a, a bit of a head voice, even though we're singing fairly low in our range. So you get that clear. So you, when you pull it apart like that, Clear, clear, and it just adds a, a slight tinge on that note. So if we go back, and we'll start working through it piece by piece. Once my life was plain and clear. So first of all, we're starting with a vocal swell. Once, so once my life was plain and clear. So again, when we go into the clear, we're going 
Kali. So we're sweeping in. Kali. And then we're going up into sort of our, our nasal area just to give it that with a really nice gentle vibrato. Let's do it once more. Once my life was plain and clear. Once my life was plain and clear. So that really important to get that. I recall. I recall. Now a lot of um, this, the depth in the voice there will come from, sort of, I recall. So you can really drop it down here. So I recall, rather than call, call. You can get different depths of those low notes by sort of bringing this feeling down here. So call, call. And it's getting that more kind of musical call. So you hear the difference there. Call. You can really pull it down and get sort of a deeper, more bassy note. So I recall. So call. By dropping it down. So he's got a kind of, I'd say, Let's have a listen back. I recall. I recall. So he's using a little bit. Not he's not going. I recall. And really pulling it down. I recall. He's just flavouring it slightly with just a little bit of that extra extra tomber or timbre tomber, however you want to say it. Once my ignorance was bliss. Okay, let's re listen to that. Once my ignorance was bliss. I recall once my ignorance was. Now, the way it says ignorance is interesting there. There's a slight something. Where was it? Was bliss. Once my ignorance was. Once my ignorance. Ignorance. Ah, right, what he might be doing is sometimes for singers, like I have not a list as such, but because see all these teeth, a load of these are fake. I had really shit teeth as a child, so all of these are pretend. But what that can sometimes do is when you say S's, you get that kind of sound. What you can replace that with, instead of an S, is a Z. So instead of S, it's Z. So my ignorance was, see instead of going ignorance, ignorance, so ignorance, and it takes away a lot of that S sound, so I recall once my ignorance was bliss, and again with the S, bliss, you can say instead of bliss, and you get less of that S sound. So I think that's probably what he's doing there, just to reduce a little bit of that. Because also, as you can hear, this microphone at the moment is really picking up everything in my voice. Every little... That's because I've got it, the gain cranked right up and a lot of compression. And that really brings out... That's why I'm not singing really loud. I'm singing really gently, but in close proximity to bring out the flavour in the voice. Voice. So voice. Let's go back a bit. Once my life was plain and clear. I recall once my ignorance was bliss. Okay, so now where is this? Ignorance was that was the was. So he's swelling into it and then just sort of pulling it back, just tailing it off. My ignorance was, was. I think I'm dropping it down at the end for some stupid reason. Hang on. My ignorance was, was. There's a slight drop down. Ignorance was. So it's really was. Very gentle, but really nice, subtle. It, again, it's part of that storytelling narrative. Was. Bliss. If you did it without all this, once my ignorance was bliss, 
It's got nothing. Once my ignorance was bliss. That little was, that nice swell in there. Again, it's all part of creating a nice, tasty, dynamic performance. Bliss. That bliss. And again, going slightly up into the nose there. Bliss. And a little bit of a waver on the vibrato. So. Let's go further. Oh, now we're starting to swell into a going up in the range here. A real night. So it's a real nice slow swell into that night. 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 And there's a little bit of a mm, shape in there. Night. Because if you do it without it, night. You can see you get a different sound. Night. That's with the lips pulled up like that. If I don't do that, night. Hear the difference? So we've got nightfall came and again the way he goes up into that came always swelling up into the nose it's such a nice little touch that he does like a serpent's kiss I love that bit like a serpent's kiss so we're almost breaking that note the like so let's go back to that like a serpent's like. kiss Like, like, it's, it's very clever how he's doing it because he's not breaking it at the start. He's starting the note off clean, but then breaking halfway through, which is harder than going from like a fry into a normal note. Instead of going like, he's going like, and just breaking it just after. So like, ah, that's really tricky to do actually. Let's try again, let's have another listen. Like, yeah, it's more like that. Like, oh, like, yeah, it's more like that. Like a serpent's kiss. So let's go back to that. Like a serpent's kiss. Oh, like a serpent's kiss. And the way he says kiss is quite nice there. Like a serpent's kiss. Kiss. So he actually doesn't hold the note for long, but he trails it off into a nice S off quite quickly. So let's try singing along to that. Like a serpent's kiss. So, like a serpent's kiss. So again, it's so, um, so narrative. That's the word, isn't it? It's beautiful. To my troubled mind. Oh, to my troubled mind. Again, that. Mm, let's have a listen to that again. To my troubled mind. To, to my troubled mind. My, mind. He's giving it more of a ma sound. Mind. Why? Why? So we're still very gentle, but nice bit of control there. Why, oh why my God? Why, oh why my God? So again, it's very soft. Why, oh why, oh why my, it's not oh why, it's oh why. We're using a little bit of vocal fry there. Oh why my God? So I think he's Norwegian, isn't he? So again, he's to listen to him, you wouldn't think he was Norwegian. The way he's pronouncing everything, he's, his English is absolutely impeccable. Um, and he hasn't got as much nuance as a lot of the sort of Scandinavian singers have when he's singing. Why, oh why, my God. God. Why, my God. So I think he's keeping quite an uh sound there. Oh, why, my God. 
God. Oh, I've been an absolute bellend and just uh, switched forward too far. One second. We're back. Sorry about that. Okay, let's carry on. Have you abandoned me? Oh, that low, that low note. Have you abandoned me? So you have to almost set your voice ready when you get to know. Have you abandoned me? Because if I just drop down without really sort of engaging here. Have you abandoned me? So you can see I'm me. I'm engaging sort of that real low resonance there just to get the sort of more clarity and depth in there. Have you abandoned me in my sobriety? So in my, oh, in my sobriety. Really engaging those low resonances on that last note. So let's hear it again. In my sobriety. It kind of helps as well. My voice is a little bit fatigued from the other day, so that gives me more nice, deep, low resonance there. As you can hear if I uh, really go low. Oh. Sobriety. The way he says the really emphasizes the T there. In my sobriety. See the higher parts, you can hear there's more with my sobriety. See, he's using more of this around there. Let's have one more listen. In my in my sobriety. Now he doesn't almost say the B there. It almost says me hind. Behind. Maybe it's uh, to avoid getting too much of a behind, behind. So it's a very soft B at the start there. Listen. Behind. And you can hear he goes behind. You can hear he goes a lot into the nose there on that hind. Facade, facade. So he really just tails it off. And so you can only really get this kind of delivery with real soft, high gain, sort of, um, and compression as well will really add to it and bring out the flavour. Let's try again. Be behind the old facade. Okay, so let's have another listen to that bit. I'm your so again, that that really nice vibrato there. So take me across the so take well, that does a nice little swell on that. So take me. So take. So he's quite low in the. Take. He's still got the low resonances in there. So take me across the river wide. Okay, so we've got a few sort of shape changes here. So take me across Let's try the back. So take me across the river wide. So when he says the river. So he's going more river wild. So we're changing from sort of river wild. So we're using a lot of that type of shapes there. Let's just hear that once more. So take me cross. So take me cross. So he's doing some nice little swells there. Take me across the river wide. Oh, lovely. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to scoot back and I'm going to try and sing along and get this as close as I can.
It's a lot to try and remember, so I'm going to be kind of bumbling my way through. But I think you'll agree, absolutely crackingly beautiful voice. And very moody picture. A lot of eyebrow going on. Okay, here we go. Once my life was plain and clean I recall once my ignorance was bliss Night fall came like a serpent's kiss To my troubled mind Why, oh why my God Have you abandoned me In my sobriety I'm your bewildered child So take me across the river wide Not bad. Not too bad. So I really, um, I really want to work in it and get some more of those inflections in there. But as you can hear, there is so much depth and the control to have to sing that quietly with that much performance as he's doing it is really a good skill. Because, you know, sitting back and absolutely belting it, but that real soft inflections in the voice and, you know, once my life was plain and clear, I recall... Because as soon as you start going out or away from that, you know, I recall once my ignorance was bliss, you lose all of the soft, subtle, you know, the nightfall came like a serpent's kiss. So all of those real subtle nuances that are so important in a performance like this can get lost as soon as you start pushing too hard. It's all about controlling that voice at low volume and um, so using as much expression as you can. Right, so that's been my vocal analysis on Roy Khan. I absolutely love him and it was a big shame that he left Camelot, but like I said, the new singer came in and did a fantastic job. I love using the word fantastic. I don't know why, splendid, terrific job of mimicking Roy so that there wasn't such a vast transition between the voices and the way like I said as he starts off even in the first song when he took over he really matched Roy's voice so well but then as the album progressed gradually brought in more of his own character hats off to the guy he did a absolutely cocking good job so thanks very much everybody, hope you've enjoyed this, like and subscribe if you have, and like I say, I shall be putting hopefully one of these out every week. So stay tuned, and I will see you very soon. Sadie bye now.